Hi everyone, Caroline here. Um, I want to show you something uh, really, it's really good fun to play with your eye mala stamps or whatever you want to do, uh, whatever you want to use. Um, you will all have heard uh, of uh, scratch art paper and mainly I know it's children that uh, you get the art pads for, uh, like this one. They call the magical scratch pads. Uh, got these from the, got this from the range um but uh i'm using uh one that is premium quality card it's about a 200 gsm card and i got this from uh, amazon it's called habercrafts and um i got the 10 sheets and it was 3.99 on amazon uh but wherever you want to get it but make sure that it is um the thicker card stock uh, otherwise, it, it, you know, it's not quite as good for making your cards unless you just want to have a play. So I've done a sheet, a six inch by six inch, and we're actually going to emboss on this. I did do this for a live on the uh, Crafty Army with Carly and um, we had some fun with it. And uh, we had a giggle that we were playing with children's stuff. <laughs> But you know, as crafters, we can uh, we can do anything, can't we? Eh? Uh, obviously, I'm using the Imala Rose Bouquet st uh, stamp because this is going to fit in absolutely beautifully, just there, right in the middle. And I'm going to emboss that. So exactly like you do with any embossing, you uh, place your stamp, and then you use your um, anti-static bag all over just gently over uh, and I'm using Versamark but you can use any uh, embossing ink that you have whichever you prefer uh, this is my preferred one I use the refill for it as well you can get the refills a refill ink bottle and I just re-ink it when it starts to go a bit dry Press it down really well. That's it. If it does lift slightly, when you take your stamp off, take it out. Uh, don't re-put down because quite often it will duplicate or you know blur it and not go down quite right in the same place again. I mean, we've done that with stamping and inking, haven't we? So um, yes, that's a tip. Piece of paper and get some embossing ink on powder on and I'm going to be using the wow and it's called polished silver regular um, I like the wow ones they're very good so cover it well then tap it off just double check there's no bits like Amy on the edge there. Take it off. Any little bits, just gently brush it off. You can use a paintbrush if you wish. I'll just put that back in the pot. And then I'm going to heat emboss. So I'm just going to warm my heat gun up now, so a little bit of noise. But make sure that you heat your heat gun up really well before you put it on any cardstock or whatever you're doing, because it's less time then on your cardstock, uh, you know, warping it in any way. So the, the hotter it is, the quicker it is. So first I'm going to warm the back. And this is always a good thing to do with your powders. Uh, it helps glue the powder to the, to the card and not blow it off. And then can you see how quick that's turning?
perfect perfect if you like this stamp it is available uh, on the how to craft network under unique stamps imala and you will find it there and then with you, you get with your uh with your kits you usually get these little sticks with them to to scrape with and then all you do is in your where your petals are you just scrape like this and it brings the rainbow color that's underneath the scratch card out like this Magic, isn't it? We had great fun with it when I did my live and everybody was loving this. And um, if you're a fan of uh, Stamps By Me, uh, you know, they, they have a, a group as well on Facebook, as well as the Crafty Army with Carly. It's the Paper Craft, the Eureka's Stamps By Me fan group I think it's called fan page I'll leave a link anyway and you can uh, you can get all these wonderful things this glass mat is stamped by me it's beautiful isn't it it's a good big one and it's magnetic so when you're doing your stenciling you can add your magnets down on your stencil so that it doesn't move. My stamping platform as well is from Stamps By Me. It's called the Eureka, hence the group's name. So just keep scratching like this. You know, to do a card with this, it looks so unique. People will wonder how you have uh, coloured it. <laughs> Somebody asked me what inks I was using. <laughs> when I showed my what I'd done, I'll show it you after. And they said, what inks are you using? And no inks, it is just magic. <laughs> I think this stamp's still available. I'll give the link anyway if it is. Um, I know there was a sale on Create and Craft. Uh, I Marla had a sale. Carly Duff uh, did a sale of all her stamps. A lot of her stamps that she had available. And as far as I know, they're still on Create and Craft uh, at this moment in time. It's always worth looking. And uh, Stamps By Me do Deal of the Day, where you can uh, go onto the sale page and find out if you subscribe to them as well. And find out uh, what they've got on offer and quite often the Imala stamps are on there. So if you're an Imala fan, it is worth tuning in to that. And subscribing. Also at Stamps By Me, they have the demo days up at the headquarters uh, in Wakefield with uh, our Tony Derrick uh, organises some amazing demo days and we all go up there and we have lots of fun. And twice a year, there's the um, Stamping Together Festival at Port uh, Sunlight, which is near Liverpool. Uh, 
and that's a fabulous place to visit it's an amazing village and and wonderful history behind it of the sunlight soap and uh, Lord Lever Lever Hume I think it was called And his wife was actually an artist. And there's an art gallery there with her working. So it has some amazing history, but the village itself is quite unique. I think the next one is in April. I know that you can you can get tickets for that already. I'll leave a link for that. But they have amazing demonstrations and uh, lots of stalls, lots of craft stalls. It's, it's really fantastic. And meeting up with friends. It's lovely to meet up with friends. Sit and have a coffee or a tea. And you can meet the design teams that do the work for iMala and Stamps by Me. Some of them go there that are able to go. It's amazing this, isn't it? Look at this. Such fun. And very artistic. So you see, it's not just for children, is it? <laughs> if you think of all the stamps you've got that you can use on this, The artwork you can create it's uh, just in the dustbin there we are can you see that how wonderful is that it's incredible isn't it so if i've got um, a seven by seven card here and i'm going to pop that on there You do get this book, the black stuff comes off, so be aware that that will need, you know, don't want that going on your other things. Just give it a good wipe after. I'll glue that down. Quick, isn't it? You know, you've got quite a unique card and done very quickly. Be sure to stamp in your card. Uh, sentiments first that will go central on there like that oops that's got a bit of glue on it just got to avoid that just press that down turn it the other way and press it down Get my black card so that you can see and pop that on there. If you do have any warping on your card, pop it through your um, your dye machine, and that flattens it as well. Oops, messy here, aren't I? Oops. And the one I did before um, with the group was this one. It's lovely, isn't it? 
and um, you can emboss with any colour, even black. I did this one in black, and what I did was with the black, I did lines, little little uh, little marks all around where the petals were. Can you see that? You see how that did that? And this one is uh, that was from the fractured floral stamp, and this one is from the um, stained glass flora. Imala stamp. Look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and you'll have a little play and uh, get some scratch card and, and you, you know, just enjoy yourself. You can even um, use, a, a, have a stencil over it and uh, mark through with your, your stencil uh, and do that. I did that on one of these here. That's just general art, see whether you can do it. But I actually went through a stencil and, you know, did a design. And you can do that sort of uh, on any, any, like in your corners and you want to do little designs in the corners. So there's no, the only, as they say, the only limit is your imagination. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it and you will join us again soon. If you've enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share. Thank you very much. Bye bye.